Welcome to C Programming Tutorials. In today's tutorial, we are going to learn about how to return a value from a function. Okay. So far, what we learned in the in, in the previous tutorial is how to defi define declare a function. First, we basically saw how to just declare a function without passing any arguments to it. And second, we saw how to pass arguments to it. And now we are going to see how to return values from uh, from a function. So, um, and as always, you know, before I start, I have to say this. Um, please. Uh, 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 subscribe to the channel uh, Learn Rama uh, so that you can be notified of any new tutorials that I s that I post. You know, as soon as I post, uh, and uh, also uh, if you or if you would like to become a fan of the page uh, Awesome C Programming Tutorials in High Dev on Facebook, uh, you could you could do that too. And if you if you could provide me any feedback, please leave some comments or something. That would be really nice. Or you know, if you could if you like those tutorials, please uh, um, do a up on uh, on them um, so let's get started so in the previous tutorial the, you know we wrote a small piece of code which basically add to you know a, a function that add, takes two parameters or arguments and basically add them together and prints uh, prints the result okay so this did not uh, what it did, it did these as we saw before the arguments are basically like input to a function so these this is these a and b are actually input uh, to that function now it is possible to basically return a result from the function here we did compute a result we compute a result we computed a result by adding these two numbers together okay but all we did was we printed that result out on the screen and we just return Get, uh, exited out of the function okay return back from the function okay we did not pass this value back to the caller okay so this is called returning the value and it's like output of the function okay so function did something sometimes function needs to send some values back uh, to the to the caller the which is the result of executing that function Okay, and that's what we are going to learn here. So let's let's do, let's write um, let's let me take this out. Okay, um, and here you know the way we are telling this the, to the compiler that this function is not returning any value back is by writing void. And as you remember in the syntax of the function declaration, this is where you put the type of the value that you are going to return out of that uh, function. Okay. Uh, if it is not returning any function, uh, any 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 return value, then you basically you write void. Otherwise, you write int or character or you know char or you know whatever you know float or all these kind of ca no, things. You can even ha return a pointer if you want to. But let's not worry about pointers right now. Let's let's see how in this and let's do a simple example. Okay, what would be the example? It's very simple. Um, let's do this example. Let's write a function to which basically calculates the square of a number okay so you you could add multiply subtract using operators like you know plus minus you know s you could you could do a plus b you could do a minus b oops minus b you could do a multiplied by b like this you could do a divided by b like this but you cannot do square of uh, a in c okay just by using an operator so let's write a function that will do it for us okay so what would the function look like let's it will have some return type okay and we were going to worry about it a little later and the name of the function what would be the name of the function whatever it does what does it do it the, it is squares number so let's let's write the name as a square okay and what does it do what would be the arguments would there be any arguments yes no no yes okay there will be an argument. What will be the argument? Again, to find out what the argument should be, you think of yourself as that function. Okay. If you are a square, a function that does square of a number, what would you need as as the input? A number. Okay. An integer that you will be basically operating on it. So let's write int x. All right. So so. And what would be the return type? Return type is the type of the value that you are going to return. So what are you going to do with this x? Okay. What are you going to do with this x? You are going to compute the square of x. 
and what is the type of x x is integer the square of in of that integer would also be an integer right so let's so the type of the value that it's going to return back is int so we'll write this int square of int x okay and this is what we are going to do to basically compute the va the to to define the function so how would it look like this is how it's going to look like we will basically get the result of squaring the x and how do you square x how do you square any number you basically multiply that number with that number right so x multiplied by x this will do it this will compute the square so this is our going to be our result okay and remember x the type of x is defined here but type of result needs to be defined also so what we do we need to do we need to define the type of the result okay what would be the type of the result integer because squaring the two num the number would basically result in an integer all right so um, and then what do we do now we have the result in the variable result we need to return it back to the caller okay we are not going to print it out or anything we are just going to return this value back to the caller and we'll let the caller decide what to do with that caller might do multiplied by 2 multiplied by 6 divided by 5 whatever it has to do or it just simply prints out so we we'll leave it up to the caller what to do okay so but what we have to do we have to tell the compiler to return this value to the caller and for that you use the keyword return okay this keyword always you have to use this keyword in every function that has a type other than void okay so far all our functions that we defined they had type of void so we did not worry about we did not have this statement return but if you have a function that returns any any other type other than void then you have to return and what do you have to return after the return you have to basically write the variable name and what is the variable name or of the value of which you want to return back it's the result so we are going to say return result so whatever we computed in this statement we will basically be taking that value and returning it by its name this is called returning by name so we will be returning it by its name square and how are we going to use it okay how are we going to use it this is how we are going to use it so suppose we have declared a variable int a we could actually ask user to enter a number yeah we could do that too okay so so suppose we declared it like this int a equal to 2 okay then what can i do i could basically say int uh, x okay and then i say x is equal to a square which is calling this function of x of oh, sorry we have to pass the parameter what is the parameter a like this right so the value of a will be passed as the argument to this function so the value of x here will become the value whatever the value of a is what is that it's 2 so the 2 will be passed here and in this function value of x will be 2 now don't confuse this x with this x I intentionally gave the name of of this variable as x sorry I intentionally gave the variable name x here this x is totally different from this x in fact this result is totally was gonna be totally different from if I declared a variable result here okay there are two independent uh, variables because they have different scope what is the scope a scope is the basically oops, from here to here this is a scope of this function so anything declared inside this function is basically belongs to this function from here to here is the scope of this function so anything declared here is basically belongs to this function and they are totally independent of each other so let me stop here and we'll continue it in, in the next video please don't forget to watch it thank you so much